Everybody's here, everybody's here. All right, so Corinne, Lily, why don't you guys come on up here? Just to make sure we have it on video, we're going to make sure to, uh, to have you squared up. So Steve, tell me when we make sure that everybody's in the, uh, in the shot. Well, you can either stand there or if you want to stand next to her, it's up to you. There? All right. Very good. You're good? We're good. All right. We want to make sure so that when you smile right there to that camera, like that right back there, that's the camera you're going to smile at so you can watch it later too. <laughs> Yeah, so today is a day that we see, um, as I mentioned here in the beginning, that what God does through simple water is actually amazing. We say God takes the simple things of the world and actually does amazing things even through the simple. Like I mentioned, today we get to celebrate both of what we call the sacraments. So we have baptism, we have communion, and both simple elements that God works through, that we be able to see God's working. So, we begin today, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tell me your name. What? Liliana. Liliana, tell me your full name. <laughs> and tell me your name. Receive the sign of the cross, both upon your forehead and upon your heart. Receive the sign of the cross, both upon your forehead and upon your heart, to mark you as redeemed by Christ the crucified. Jesus said in Matthew 28, he said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, so go and make disciples of all nations by baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And so, to, so today, that's what we're going to do. Let's pray. Almighty eternal God, according to your blessings, you are working through this water today. We are grateful that you have brought to the waters of baptism, Corinne and Lily. We pray, God, that you would be working in their life continually as you already have been. In Jesus' name, amen. So God has, uh, from the very beginning, kind of when baptism has begun, like he's assigned sponsors. And so here's the wonderful thing about this connection right here, that as Corinne is being baptized, she's also going to sponsor her sister because she has also been answering a lot of questions already. I mean, walking in the faith so far and being able to say, here, you know, if you have questions, if you're seeking some advice, things in the spiritual realm... You can talk to your sister. She's now going to be your godmother. That's fun, right? <laughs> sister, godmother, like it's a whole blend. It's, it's fun. It, you can smile. It's fun. <laughs> so as a sponsor, you have a couple of uh, responsibilities then. First is to witness this event. Two is to be able to support and encourage her along her life and to be able to, to talk to her about the things of faith and spirituality and all those things that are necessary for help her along her journey in faith. So are you ready and willing to take on this responsibility? If so, say yes with the help of God. Yes with the help of God. Amen. All right. So here's this passage that Jesus, in the Gospels, Jesus was talking to a whole bunch of people. And, uh, and there were these parents who were bringing their children to Jesus that he might bless them and lay his hands on them. And his disciples were like, whoa, hold up. Jesus doesn't have time for all of you little infants and kids to come to Jesus. How do you think Jesus responded? Do you think Jesus was happy with this? No, he wasn't. It says that Jesus was indignant. He was angry at his disciples for holding these children back from coming. And so then he says, he says to them that, uh, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. And he took up all those children in his arms and he blessed them. You see, that's what Jesus does. He brings people in, thanks be to God. 
We now pray the prayer that Jesus has taught us to pray. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, so now we've got some questions. And for the questions, since you both are going to be baptized and you're both able to discern the questions that I speak, that you can answer for yourselves, okay? All right, so the first question is, do you renounce the devil in all his wicked works and ways? Do we say no to the devil? Yes, yes we do. Yep, yes? yes. All right. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth? Yes. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord? Yes. Yes. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? Yes. Yes. Got an affirmative. All right, so Karim, we're going to uh, baptize you first. If you want to kind of, let's shift this. Okay. And here's, oh, I just got to tell you this, this uh, as a part of the baptism here, this, this baptismal font was handmade by Steve. And he put, he, he made this specifically for these baptisms to be able to say there's, there's markings on it. There's all parts of stuff that signify the, the baptisms and it's, it's a wonderful piece, and I just wanted to be able to highlight that as well. First time that this is being used for baptism, so, all right. Thank you. Thank you. So, Corinne, if you want to put your head down here, Corinne, Oksana, Geese, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And here, let me grab you a towel. I'll tell you about those later. And then Lily, why don't you step up on that little box right there? And then put your head down like this. Here we go. We're not going to throw you all the way in there. We're just going to put it on your forehead. But <laughs> Lilian Angus Rivas, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then you can use that right there. So what these... Uh, cloths are called. These are baptismal napkins, and you can use that to kind of dry your forehead. But these are white to be able to signify the righteousness that Christ has given to you, because it's white, it's clean. And uh, because of that, you're reminded that Jesus has forgiven you all your sins. What we also have are candles. So, as long as the fan's going to cooperate, burn, burn, hold on, there we go, oh, we might want to, yeah, shut that one off just for a second to let these burn, and there's that, so on that candle, it says, I baptize you, now what is that, so it means that God came down, and they show the dove because the Holy Spirit is a part of this process about making and understanding the water and what it does for you. And this is what oftentimes you can do with these candles is to be able to celebrate with it. So on this day, July 17th, next year, you can take this candle out. What I always like to be able to suggest is you put it in a cake because then you can eat cake too. That's fun, right? Cake is good. Or cheesecake would also be good. It's you know, just something to be able to celebrate with, but it's a kind of a reminder. And you don't have to wait till next year to be having a reminder of it. Today, even the people who now are right here watching, they are now reminded of their own baptism. So that just as this simple water is put on their head, they can be reminded. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we've been baptized as well. And God has welcomed us into the family. So let's pray.
Almighty, merciful God and Father, we thank and praise you that you graciously preserve and enlarge your family and have granted Corinne and Lily the new birth and holy baptism and made them members of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and heirs of your heavenly kingdom. We humbly implore you that they would now become your children, that you would keep them in their baptismal grace, that according to your good pleasure, they may faithfully grow to lead a godly life to the praise and honor of your holy name. And finally, with you and all saints, obtain the promised inheritance in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So you, the, uh, the church that is present here, you, the church that is gathered, I also like to be able to make a commit, have you make a commitment as well, that you would support and encourage these two in their walk with Jesus. Are you ready and willing to take on that responsibility? If so, say yes with the help of God. Praise God. All right. So why don't we welcome these two into the family of God. Praise God for all blessings flow. All right. So you don't have to try to keep that lit the whole time. You can blow it out now if you want. <laughs> and then you can take those. And I'll hand these to you later on. So, And there's a box for these candles as well. So 